Welcome everybody to the channel vlog of the year. It's finally here. I did say I'd try and get something out by Sunday at the very latest. This is about the fifth or sixth time maybe that I'm trying to record this. Um, so apologies if this ends up being in a few different parts or halfway through we end up just cutting the stock gameplay footage. Uh, with a voiceover, but I'm doing my best to try and get it recorded. What I'm doing now is I've got the uh, webcam preview window on, and I'm recording that via Bandicam, so if the quality on it's not very great, then I apologise. But I do prefer doing this face-to-face -face rather than... Um, that's what I'm looking for. Rather than just with a, a disembodied voice. So... What do we normally talk about with these uh, channel vlogs of the year? Because I've been doing YouTube for about four or five years now, and I like to do one uh, every January. Uh, just talk about what happened in the past year, how we've been, plans for the new year, and then talk about any personal stuff. So, first off, I want to talk about the biggest news that happened last year, which was the old channel uh, effectively being shut down, getting two copyright strikes, um, and then being out of commission for 12 months. Uh, Actually, that's coming back up in March. Um, it's going to be March when that channel, when the strike should fall off that channel. So you never know; we might have access to it back on that YouTube channel. Not that I think anybody's really still following on that channel. I might pop a Wall of Tanks video up on it and see if anybody is still following over there, and then we'll think about plans for that. But I've got no plans to abandon the Maxwell Players channel. I love the community that we've built here so far. So. Progress on the new channel has been a little bit slower than I would have liked. We've gone from 0 to 5,500 subs in a year. Most of those subs were gained within the first couple of months. We gained about uh, three, three and a half thousand 3,500 within the first uh, couple of months or so. A couple of those thousand were from the old channel, and then one and a half to 2,000 were from a very nice shout-outs from uh, all the people we used to collaborate with, so Sir Fosh, Sir Sircon, um, Jingles, and all those guys. Give me a shout-out on the new channel. Really helped us... Uh, push that forward. Growth's been a little bit slower than I would have thought, but uh, than I would have liked, but I think a lot of that is probably due to content stagnation, so World of Tanks content sort of remaining the same. Um, and then kind of being abandoned for a couple of months, and part of the reasons for that was just very, very busy social, uh, well, not exactly social life, but work life, if you know what I mean, and then sort of family and everything feeding into that. But I'm going to talk more about the work side of things when we get on to uh, when I want to talk about what hap what's happened with the bar and everything. So, I think a lot of the problem has been content stagnation with that. So, plan for next year is I want to try and reach at least 10,000 subscribers by this time next year. Which is... It sounds like an easy feat. We're basically just gaining the same amount of subs that we've gained this year. But like I said, at the beginning of last year, we had that massive push from the old channel. And then from everyone giving us shout-outs from uh, Jingles and Sircon and Fosh and everybody and Jedi and all those people giving us... Um, uh, shout outs to really help our subscriber numbers grow at the beginning of the at the uh, March, April and May. So getting another 5,000 subs this year is going to be a, a bit more difficult than it was to gain them last year. So that's that's where I'm hoping to be this time next year. We're going to try and push to 10,000 YouTube subscribers. But I also want to talk about Twitch TV. Now I've restarted um, streaming on Twitch TV and we've been doing it consistently since the end of September, beginning of October, so really October, November, December. And uh, I've seen some really good progress on that so far. We've gone from about 2,000 all dead followers. There was about 1,500 maybe, to about 2,500 followers now, which is great. Um, follower numbers don't really matter that much on Twitch TV because it's really easy for someone to just throw out a follow. But I'd quite like to be at around about the same that we're going to be on YouTube, so I'd like to be in around about 10,000 followers range. Um, concurrent viewer wise we're getting between 80 and 100 viewers on on their uh, streams sometimes we get 120 if we're having a really good day we'll get 150 or 160 I think our viewer record is about 165 for a world of tanks stream which I'm going to get on to later world of tanks um, so I'd like our concurrent viewers to be around about so like I said at the moment they're around about 80 to 100 depending on the game that we play so I would quite like them to be at 120 to 150 We'll say consistent 150 by this time next year. So we're aiming for 10,000 YouTube subs, 10,000 Twitch followers, and um, 150 concurrent Twitch viewers by this time next year. So back to YouTube. Biggest uh, announcement is we are back to World of Tanks. We're playing World of Tanks again. Uh, it's been great fun. It's going to be on the stream. We can expect highlight videos up on the channel along with the regular subscriber replays. And with us being uh, back into the World of Tanks streaming, then you may get uh, montages and funny clips and, yeah, really this just happened kind of videos that we used to do um, 
back in the day. So you can hopefully look forward to those if they're the kind of things that you like. But we're still going to do two World of Tanks sub replays per week if that is possible. Uh, if if we sort of get the amount of replays in that we need to do those, uh, we might have to skip them if we, if we don't get them. But to be honest, you guys still send loads of replays, and I'm still sort of getting 10 to 15 replays per week, um, sometimes 20 or 25 uh, on a good week, even though we haven't been doing that much World of Tanks content. So that's that's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to want to start doing Elite Dangerous content on um, YouTube as well. The Elite Dangerous content is going to kind of just be tutorials and guides to get started and get rolling and then we'll probably just do update videos and looking ahead videos to see the uh, the new stuff that's coming out in the betas and whatnot. But to start with it's going to be guides, starting with basic, moving on to intermediate, then moving on to advanced guides. So look forward for those and then just funny content if we get ourselves into some decent situations. Uh, I'm looking at doing more Minecraft content for the channel. If you don't like the Minecraft, then apologies. But still stick around for the, uh, for the World of Tanks if that's all you're interested in. But I'm wanting to start up more Minecraft content. We already have the Tech at Legends series that's going on at the moment. Um, to be honest, we don't really have that much of a goal in the Tech at Legends series. And it kind of feels like it's winding down a little bit because there aren't that many mods in Tech at Legends. So I wouldn't expect Tech at Legends to go very much past episode 50 or 60. But we do have plans already for a new series series uh, that we can pick up on and then we might start doing things like adventure maps and whatnot um, with Minecraft so I'm hoping to get more Minecraft content out the general schedule at the moment for the YouTube channel is Minecraft on a Monday World of Tanks Tuesday Minecraft Wednesday World of Tanks Thursday Minecraft Friday and then random stuff on the weekend so Hoping to get just a bit more content out there. You might be looking at uh, two videos a day on some days. So you might, uh, like, three days a week you might get two videos, and then the other two you might just get one video. And then Saturday you might just get a, a funny montage or highlight video. On Sunday I'll probably take a break. Um, I don't really want to put videos out seven days a week. So the more Minecraft content brings us nicely onto the community server news. That should be up and running next week sometime. I can't quite decide whether to just have it uh, launch without much of a fanfare midweek sometime. Or whether to save it for, say, a Sunday night launch where myself, Redmore and Cuttlebug can all play at the same time as you guys on the launch night on the Sunday evening. Which is when we normally record our Tekken Legends series. So that's just something I'm bandying around. Um... What I will say is, it's going to be a whitelisted server, same as the last one, the Attack of the B-Team server we did. That's just to provide some kind of barrier to trolling. If the server's completely free and open, anyone can just mooch in, troll, and then mooch out again. Um, whereas whitelisting, they've got to leave a comment on a video, I'll explain in a second, and then they've got to wait to be whitelisted, then they've got to get in, and then there's just a little bit of a barrier to trolling. So the way it's going to work, probably around about Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, a video will drop on the YouTube channel which will explain how to get whitelisted. All it'll be is either send me a private message on YouTube or leave a comment on that video, depending if you want you, your Minecraft name publicly known or not. I'll whitelist you, no question asked, um, and then once the server goes live, you can join. It's, going, it's looking like it's going to be a version of Resonant Rise 3. So if you have the AT launcher, go ahead and, uh, well, don't go ahead and download it yet because I haven't announced what the pack's going to be like. But if you have the, if you don't have the AT launcher, Google it, download it, uh, get that installed and ready to go. And like I said, it's going to be a version of the Resonant Rise mod pack and there'll be more details on that on the video itself. Uh, our Twitch schedule... Well, I know, actually, I'll, I'll do this in a different order. I'll talk about the bar, what's happened with it, and then that'll lead on to the new schedule and talking about new things in the new year. So, a lot of you know that I was involved with a bar f since January last year. Uh, myself and my brother and one other guy decided to buy a bar in our town, and the plan was to have a nice, uh, like, cafe bar downstairs and then convert the upstairs, which was a derelict floor, into an esports and gaming cafe. Um, everything was going great, but then when we when we finally had the time and the money to start doing the renovations in the upstairs, which just kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed because things kept needing to be done downstairs. Um, the place was in a little bit of a worse condition than uh, we were led to believe when we invested originally. Um, and we started getting some pushback from the brewery about releasing money to develop it as an esports venue. They started to just say that they would prefer to just pay for it because... 
uh, as just a regular like function room going forward because they weren't sure about the return on the investment because the original plan was we would get the downstairs functioning 100% and then they would invest the money for the upstairs. And as we start doing the work, we start getting pushback from them saying that they weren't really sure whether they wanted to invest that kind of money in something that they couldn't see a guaranteed return on. So we got into a lot of arguments with them about that. We ended up in the hall about 40 grand for the upstairs. Um, eventually, they did pay some money, but not uh, not as much as they had originally said. Um, it's around about this time that I started getting cold feet about the whole place. The downs, the the. I mean, when you open up a business, you expect that it doesn't trade, it doesn't break even for the first sort of 12 months. With a bar, an already open and established business, you kind of cut that down to about six months. But for the full time we had it, had it, I think it broke even two weeks or four weeks out of 52. So it was never really trading at the level that it should have been. Um, and I was sinking more and more time into it, more and more of my personal money into it. Uh, and the place just never really seemed to do as well as it should. And part of that's down to location. Part of it's down to the fact that the work didn't get done 100% from the start. It had to get done in drips and drabs as it was moving on. But anyway, that uh, that's by the by. I started having doubts about it in October, November. And started to try and remove myself from the business by December was my plan. So basically I was wanting to sort of sell off my share in the business. And uh, start sort of... Uh, extricating i don't know the correct word of it here but basically disentangling myself with the business moving out and then being repaid my investment was my plan um so i managed to do that in december i wrote up a contract with my business partner who is incidentally also my brother um drew up a contract whereby i would be paid a lump sum on exit and then paid a weekly fee uh well not a fee but paid a weekly amount um until my initial reinvest investment had been recouped and i mean the the contract that was wrote up was heavily in the bar's favour. Um, like I said, I was paid a lump sum, and then all I wanted was per week enough money to pay back a loan that I'd taken out to pay for the bar. So I was getting net no real actual money for my for ourselves. Um, the money that I was given per week would just be paid directly straight out to repay loans that I'd taken to take on the bar in the first place. So. Yeah, and then that all sort of ended very, very abruptly uh, at the end of December. Because, uh, you know, I'd been sort of trying to get myself out since October, November. Um, and fully gone by December. Uh, so that all abruptly stopped in December. Uh, my ex-business partner, who's also my brother, has said that he doesn't want to pay me any more money because he feels like he doesn't get any benefit from the money that he pays out. And it's like, well, that's not really how a contract works. You signed a contract saying that I would be repaid my initial investment. Now that's not happening. So at the moment, I'm trying just to save up some money to take him to court. Uh, it's actually quite expensive to take somebody to court. It depends on how much money that uh, you want to get back. I don't want to talk specifics and I don't want to go too much into it because if it is going to be a protracted legal battle, I can't really talk about it. Um, because um, there's sort of NDAs and stuff like that. But basically the long and short of it is I was paid a lump sum upon exit and then I was supposed to be paid a weekly f a weekly amount that was literally just to cover the loan that I'd taken out to put into the bar. That all abruptly stopped. So I haven't been getting any money, so I've been having to pay this loan back out of my own pocket. It's quite an expensive loan. When you take out big loans, the repayments are quite large. Um, it's, I mean, I don't want to talk numbers, but it's like, it's, it's quite a large payment. Uh, per month, we're talking like sort of four, five hundred pound per month just on loans. Uh, and now I'm having to pay that back out of my own pocket. So it looks like it's probably going to have to go to court, which is really awkward because my business partner is also my brother. But at the end of the day, you know, fuck him because he's fucked us. So yeah. So that brings us on to the last part of the vlog. I don't want to get anybody on too much of a downer because I'm not on a downer about it. It'll all work itself out in the end as long as you stay positive and just do the right thing, uh, which is what I'm planning on doing. So plan for the next year coming forward is I've got, as you may imagine, a lot of free time. So I'm thinking about maybe trying to give it a go to stream and YouTube full time. Um... Obviously, this is going to be a difficult thing to do with only 5,500 subs and an average concurrent viewers of 80 to 120. But, thanks to the lump sum payment that was given out uh, by the bar, we've kind of got a little bit of savings to carry us forward. And the other thing is that sort of... 
when you've got children in the UK, you get things called tax credits. Uh, so the government will offer you some assistance in your cost of living. It's not much, but it's a little bit to help you keep going forward. Basically, what I'm saying is we're not, it's not do or die. We have to go full time within three months. We've got sort of six months to a year where we can sort of build up an audience and build up an audience and uh, try and get there in the end. Um, after six months to a year, if things haven't really picked up the way. I mean, by the time we come to record another vlog of the year next year, if things haven't gone according to plan, then we may have to call it quits. I mean, not call it quits on YouTube in general. We'll still put videos up as a hobby, but the Twitch stream will probably have to go kaput. Um, but looking forward, uh, I want to give it a go to try and do YouTube and streaming full time. Um, it's going to be difficult to start with, but you guys are absolutely awesome. I mean, you're always amazingly generous with your donations and spending your time with us and just hanging out. And it's all, it's it's been really, really heartwarming and really, really great for me. So, even though I'll be doing this full time, I wouldn't necessarily expect more content because I've kind of been in this position since October, which is when I first started streaming again. So, I wouldn't magically expect suddenly more content because I've been in this position for a while now. Um, so the content that you're getting at the moment is sort of full-time worthy content. What it will mean is you might get higher quality content because I can spend more time on the editing and post-production side. But the stream schedule you can find on the Twitch channel. There'll be links in the, uh, in the description there letting you know where everything is. But the general... Um, my general schedule is Mondays I record world of tanks replays and then i edit them and i edit the minecraft footage that we got on sunday night and then i render it all and then i upload it all over monday night so that's basically monday tuesday wednesday thursday fridays youtube videos all done on the monday tuesday i'll be streaming minecraft 12 till 6 wednesday streaming elite dangerous 12 till 6 thursday streaming world of tanks 12 till 6 that's what the world of tanks is back video was all about uh just letting you guys know that world of tanks is back thursday 12 till 6 friday stream at the moment it's elite dangerous 12 till 6 because i'm enjoying the community i'm enjoying the feedback that we get and i'm enjoying hanging out with the guys but if a different game presents itself and looks great as well we may switch friday up to be something else or maybe even world of tanks or something uh, 12 till 6 and then we take a, a quick 10 to 20 minute break and then 6 15 to 6 30 we come back with uh, a random game night thing where we can have a few beers and uh, play a random a random game at the moment it's been beer and borderlands with uh, one of our viewers super ranger 12 and every now and then redmore if he uh, if he's able to turn up and that's been that's been really good fun so the the beer and borderlands has been great i've been really enjoying that um but Friday evening, so basically the Friday stream is going to end up being sort of 8 to 10 hours long. We're going to go from maybe 12 till like between 8 and 10 p.m. at night. So it's an extra long stream. We do take a little break in the middle, but that's just so I can stuff some food in my face and say hello to my children. Um, and then uh, then we have some beers and play some more games. So that's the that's the stream schedule moving forward. I'd, I'd like to add sort of a fifth day in there because at the moment I just do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But like I said, Monday is my recording editing rendering and uploading day and literally the thing takes that entire day i mean last week on monday i was still sat there at 8 p.m editing minecraft videos uh so it really does take the full day to do everything um and then saturday and sunday are really family days because the one thing i want to take away from this um this uh, YouTube and streaming full time is spending a little bit more time with the family because I've sort of running the bar. I've neglected that a little bit. Sort of still doing YouTube as a hobby and then working 65 hours a week. It was just horrible. Never really got to spend that much time. So yeah. So that's the uh, that's the story with what's happened and that feeds onto what we're planning on doing. So the long and short of it is got shafted, got loads of free time. Going to attempt um, YouTube and streaming full time, see how that goes. With that being said, that also leads on to our final point, which is you may have heard of a small website called Patreon. Uh, I think um, Sir Havoc uses it and Pointy Head Jedi uses it. Uh, I'm not sure about anybody else, but Patreon is basically a voluntary subscription site where you guys can pledge to give me a small amount of money every single month. You receive some perks in return depending on what your level of support is. And basically it's just a way of me being able to gauge how close we are to being able to go full time. By the time this video goes up, the page should be fully done, so you guys can go check it out. There'll be a link at the top of the description, or, well, maybe not the top, but somewhere in the description down below. Uh, you guys can check that out, have a laugh, have a read. If 
I just want to preface this by saying support is not required and it will never be required to view the videos or the live streams they will always be free they will always be available to everybody they will never nothing will ever be locked behind a paywall if something is ever given out to patreons exclusively all it'll be is possibly early access to a video so say world of tanks videos go up on tuesday and thursday patreons might have access to them on monday and wednesday rather than tuesday and thursday that would be the only time that stuff would be quote unquote behind a paywall um i know the patreon gives you an ability to put posts all posts will be is they'll just be a thank you probably or a, or a picture or just a silly meme or whatnot so if you're unable to sub to donate money through patreon don't worry you won't miss out on anything it's not required it'll never be required the stuff will always be free to everybody um so yeah but it's just like i said it's just it's just a a good way of keeping track of support and keeping track of how things are going and when this will be able to be fully sustainable as a full-time career because the other thing is we're still not a twitch partner so we still don't have the quality options right from the start and we still don't have a subscribe button um so if you were after a subscribe button on twitch uh patreon might be the way to go for you um although there aren't really any twitch emotes so you know it swings and roundabouts but we'll see we'll see so if you want to check that out link in the description if you want to have a look at the twitch channel that is in the description as well you can also check out the schedule over there i think i've covered about everything we've been prattling on for like 21 minutes now possibly 22 minutes depending on how my maths goes and how these takes have uh, have all rolled in i think this has uh, survived actually right till the end without having to do multiple takes which is pretty good going if you ask me it's pretty good going so if you've got any questions in the comment section below if you want to know th stuff about uh specifics of the drama that happened with the bar i probably can't uh, it's not that well i probably won't go into too many specifics one because i don't really want to air dirty laundry out in massive public and secondly because if it's going to be part of a legal battle i probably can't talk about it too much but any other questions in the comment section below um, and I think that's about it. So I just want to say a massive thank you to your support and viewership over this past year. Hopefully we can take it forward into the next year and uh, continue growing at the rate that we hope. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a viewer. Thanks for being awesome. And I'll catch you guys next time.